C2E2 2020. You're gonna wanna stay to the end of this video because we're gonna be giving away an exclusive comic book. Yo, comic fam, C2E2 2020. I'm your host, Comic Tom. I'm the Golden Age Guru. And we have two questions for some of our favorite dealers here at this show. The first thing I wanna know is what their favorite, most unique comic book that they brought. Question number two. What is their favorite pickup at this con? Hit that subscribe button and slap that like button and let's get into it. Well, you know the first shop we gotta show you is the best shop in Vegas and Orange County. I'm talking Torpedo Comics and I got my buddy Steve here. First thing I wanna know, most unique comic that you brought to this show. Well, I have to give credit. This book right here is perhaps one of the most unique books we've ever had, never mind the show, okay? This is a Miracle Man one, but this is the 2D version. Now, according to legend, there's only 40 of these were printed. And apparently it's only three around somewhere, and this is one of them. So this is, this is a tough book, right wow. here. Amazing Alan Moore goodness. Now, second question. What's your favorite pickup at the show? You know what? I just love this book. You would, you would pick a Defenders book. This guy. <laughs> Come on. We cannot keep this book in stock, no matter what grade it is. As soon as I see it, I pick it up. It's one of the most popular books for a low price. You're gonna have Thor and Hulk fighting. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. You gotta make sure to follow Steve Says Boom on Instagram. He's the new Pawn Stars comic guy. Boom! We are here with Austin from Reese's Rare Comics out of Maryland and we're gonna see a Golden Age book that he's super excited to show us about. Guys, I have with me a Detective Comics 38. This is the origin and first appearance of Robin. There's only 70 copies of him, unrestored, graded on the census right now. Why don't you tell us and the audience what a book like this, if they want to pick it up at the show, would run? This one we have at 52,500. Uh, there's just not a lot of data out there, um, and it's an important book and super rare, so we're hoping someone comes and picks it up here. Now this is something that they can get. What is something that you got that you're excited about to show? Uh, a book I picked up this weekend was An Amazing Spider-Man number one, one of my favorite books out of the Silver Age. It's a low-grade piece, has some tape on the spine, but still one of the best books that I've ever seen. Now. How do you feel about these customizable labels? I'm happy for the fans. As a dealer, I see them all. They're cool. It makes a book unique. I think a lot of people are adding them to their collection. So uh, anytime I can get one, I try to. Austin, thank you so much, man. We appreciate really appreciate it, you letting us in your booth and showing us some amazing books. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, I'm here with my buddy Rob, the man behind the Red Hood, the biggest Joker fan I know. I'm serious about that. First question I have for you. Your favorite book that you brought, the most unique thing currently on your wall at this show. So that would be this Tales of Suspense 94, which is the first appearance of MODOK. There are three Blue Label 98s that exist to this, and the Signature Series copy that's signed by Stan Lee and Joe Sinnott, so it's technically the best copy in the world. 9.8, double signed, amazing. Second question. Yes. Favorite pickup of the show? Uh, I've only actually bought one book. One book? Yeah, one book. I've been busy. This is Man on Mars book from uh, 1953 with the Maurice Whitman cover. Chip, green alien chicks on other planets. Laser guns, perfect. Laser guns, it's perfect. Same run that did Planet Comics. Golden Age goodness. Thanks, Rob. You're welcome. <laughs> we are here with David Adams out of Buffalo, New York, and we're speaking to Mike about what his favorite book is on the wall. How you doing? Thanks for joining us. Uh, here in the case, I have a Tales of Suspense 39, graded at a CGC 8.0. Uh, it's a behind the glass because it's asking $23,000. And then the coolest book I picked up at the show was a Flash 105. First time he gets his own title for showcase, obviously. This is one of Tom's favorite books, by the way, Flash 105. Now, explain to me, why you like that Tales of Suspense 39. Uh, first Iron Man, and then also the grade on it. Getting that book higher than a six or a seven, uh, it really separates the market value and then the rarity of it. So maybe there might be one or two, I might have the highest copy here. Um, I know there's a seven or a seven five kicking around. So out of all the national dealers across the country, we have probably the highest graded copy here. It is absolutely a beautiful book. 
if you guys are interested, it's at the con here for you. C2E2 2020. Comic fan, we got a treat for you. Vincent with Comic Connect. To say that these books are hot is an understatement. I want to know two things. The first, your favorite book on your wall. My favorite book coming up in our auction, ComicConnect.com, starts in April, ends in May, is Amazing Fantasy 15 8.0. The reason it's my favorite, Spider Man's my favorite character, always has been, always will be. With great power comes great responsibility. Love that. It's amazing. No pun intended. No pun intended. I want to know now, because you have so many gorgeous books here, your favorite pickup of the con. Well, I didn't buy it at the con, but I bought it recently, and I thought it was noteworthy. This is the most historically important copy of Marvel Comics number one, the first comic book from Marvel. This hat features the first appearance of the Human Torch, of Submariner. It is in immaculate shape, and it's also known as the pay copy because Lloyd Jaquette, the publisher of the Funnies who produced all the material for this, used this copy to denote how much he was paying each artist for each story. So inside it, there's handwritten notes of, pay this guy $35, this guy 20 The cover cost 25 bucks, and it's written here on the cover. It's unbelievable. Comic fam, real talk. Was not expecting him to break that comic out. My hands are sweaty. By the way, this comic could be yours for a million dollars. Thanks for joining us, Vincent. My pleasure. Take it easy. Wow, those are some crazy dope books. Silver Age 9.8 was not expecting that. First Marvel Comics number one pay copy was not expecting that. Yeah, how did it feel to hold a million dollar comic? Felt like a million bucks. Yeah. You feeling good? <laughs> I'm feeling great. Okay, so I'm also feeling incredibly humbled because we had a fan of the show, Oni, donate this comic karma to the show. So if you comment down below, let us know what you thought about this video. I want to know what you're hunting for. It will enter you for a chance to win this gorgeous Wolverine. This is your favorite book of the show, right? This was my favorite variant to come out at this con. So it started at $25 at the Marvel booth and it's easily clearing 50 bucks right now. Amazing generosity. We have the best community in the world. Comic fam, don't forget to subscribe. We make a lot of content. Slap the like button. And as always, geek responsibly. Enough said. Comic fam, thank you so much to everybody who's coming out to C2E2 and stopping by and saying hi. Can't tell you how much it means to me. It's awesome getting a chance to see you, the community, in person. It's kind of surreal. It's, you know, a little bit more than humbling and it's a little scary. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually really, really cool. Um, shout out to everybody who's coming out. Good luck on the hunt this weekend and just like, have a great time. It's a lot of fun. It's just cool seeing so many people have a great time with their families, their kids, hunting for comic books, collecting keys, getting stuff signed. It's just a great time to be. Great place to be. I'm tired. Have a good night. I'll see you soon. We got a podcast coming out on Monday. Enjoy.